Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'll be teaching you how to remotely control a Windows computer using a free software. But even more interestingly, I'll be showing you how to reverse hack the person who sent you the file. Number one, you use a free tool that is out of the box with Windows. And after that, what you can do is send over to a Windows computer, the user click onto the file, and third, a passcode, and that's it. They gain full access into the computer. Number two here is we'll be using a Linux box also using the same file, targeting the same file and the same computer, entering the passcode, and that also gives us full remote control over into the computer. Not only that, towards the end, I'll teach you how to hack the person who is remotely controlling your PC. So first you got a user on the left who is going to be creating that file from his computer. After which he will send this file over to the scammer or hacker. In this case, it could be Mr. Hackaloy, who will be receiving the file. And Mr. Hackaloy may think that by opening up the file, they'll be able to hack over into the computer. But no, in fact, this file is going to be modified so that we're able to target this computer and then after which hack back into Mr. Hacker Lie. So yes, we'll be hacking the hacker back. So right in front of us, we have a target computer. And all you could do is go to the bottom left, enter help, and you can see the following right here. Invite someone to connect to your PC and help you or offer to help someone. Invite someone you trust to hack you. Sorry, I mean to help you. So you go ahead and click on this one. So we'll select the first option here, which is save this invitation as a file. Click on that. I'm going to save it over into the downloads folder. I click save. I replace existing one that I have earlier. And you can see a pop-up right here, Windows Remote Assistance. And all we got to do right now is head over to another computer, Double click onto the file and you'll be able to enter this passcode and done, you have remote control of the entire PC. And right now I'm on another computer. This is going to be the computer that will be doing the hacking. So what I can see here is I have the invitation.msrc incident. I double clicked on this and it's a pop-up right here that states remote assistance, enter the password to connect to the remote computer. As you can see right here, I've entered the password. All I gotta do is click okay and you go back over into the target computer and you click yes you want to allow and done this is like change in the background meaning that it's now being remotely controlled or being remotely viewed as well so if i head back over to the other computer you can see right here we have the following we have a pop-up here viewing the screen all right so we're able to see the screen of the user we can see mr hacker Loy photo here mr handsome Loy. and that's it we now can control it by entering and clicking onto the request control and of course, there's a pop-up here. Would you like to allow Loy Liang Yang to share control of your desktop? So if you head back over in the computer, you click yes on this, and now I head back over to the hacker's computer, I can now click around. I can remotely control the PC, as simple as that. And yes, of course, we can absolutely do it in Kotlin Linux too. So all you gotta do is go ahead and open up Terminal. And once you're in Terminal, all you gotta do is download that file or receive it as an email, whichever the way you want to get that file. All you have to do right now is go ahead and access the file. So in my case, I'm going to use SMB client, which is a form of Windows file sharing to access that file. So I enter SMB client followed by slash slash Windows hacker slash downloads. All right, dash U, Loy, Liang, Yang, hit enter on this, enter the password, hit enter. And what we have here now is saying, go ahead and enter get invitation.msrc incident, hit enter on this, quit, done. We now have the file, we can use the file to remotely control the computer. Now you can see here in the command line, I enter the following x free RDP invitation.msrc incident followed by slash assistance and the password, okay? So once you hit enter on this, you get a pop-up. And this pop-up going back into the target computer, I click yes. Would you like to allow Loy Lang to connect to your computer? Yes on this. You see a slight change in the background, the desktop background. I head back over in Kotlin Linux. You can see right here, we have remote control of the computer. Now the thing is, what if we can modify the file and send it over to the user so that we can hack them? Wouldn't that be interesting? What we can do now is go ahead and inspect this file, which is invitation.msrc instant. Do a right click on this, right? Open with notepad, and you can see the following. Let me go ahead and go back to the original file. That was the malicious payload, by the way. So I go over to downloads. I do a right click on this. I click open with, I click notepad. And you can see some information here. So this is an XML file. And we have the following information of like question mark, XML version equal, upload info, upload data. We got username equal Loy Liang Yang. And we have the following information of LH ticket, 
RC ticket and you can see the following information which is the IP address in this case with the IP address of 192.168.0.185 followed by the following port of 49999 so this is the port is going to be open in the target computer whoever is going to be sending this file right and then of course we have the following other information so what if we could modify this so that we could run certain commands on it wouldn't that be interesting so i have the following payload right here which is remote system and then we target this ip address this ip address is going to be the ip address of the color linux box that i have and of course the port number and a specific file here called xxe Dot xml and we'll run the following remote root as well as oob and this attack method is called the xml external entity attack method and we have the following information right here in Kali Linux, which will be hosting this xxe.xml file and the first one we're taking in is we are looking at system.ini followed by windows update.log and we will display them as payload on payload 2. So this will be the information that we're receiving in our Kali Linux server. And all I gotta do right now is hit over to terminal. All right, and what I can do is CD over into where that xse.xml is, CD var dub 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 html. All right, so what I can do here is enter python 3-m http.server8080, hit enter on this. And all we gotta do now is wait for the user to execute a file and we'll be able to see those content in their computer. Now I head back over the computer, I close on this and you can see the file right here, invitation.msrc incident, but it's been modified. If I double clicked on this, there's a pop-up that says the following, remote assistance cannot make the connection. I click okay on this. I hit back over to Kyle Linux. You can see right here, we got information of the computer and we can get much more. We can chain multiple files that we want to view. So if I want to view another piece of file here, all I got to do is copy the information here, hit enter on this. I'll call this payload three and I'll target another part of the directory. So in this case, I can enter say C users slash Loy Liang Yang. All right, and I can say possibly target something like secret.txt. So once I have this target, all I can do is go all the way to the right, enter payload three, followed by semicolon, save this file. And now that we have saved the file, all we got to do is go back to the computer here, double click on the same file, click OK. I head back over to Kali Linux and go over back to terminal and we can see the following information. All right, so here we have some interesting information of the following, which is Hacker Loy is very handsome. That is the secret file. Additionally, what I can do here is go back over into help and I can click invite someone you trust to hack you. So I mean, help you again, <laughs> save this file and click save, click replace. Yes, I hit back to another computer that is targeting this machine to remotely control it. I hit back over here and what I can do is I can open up, say a folder or I go over into network. I go over into say Windows hacker downloads I can have the invitation.msrc incident, double click on this, and I can enter the password. All right, so in this case, I can go back over to the password here and enter it into the computer. Now I have the password here, I click OK. I hit back over the computer here, it's this following. Would you like to allow Loy Liang Yang to connect to your computer? So what we're holding on this, I can open a folder, I can do a right click on this, I open with notepad. And I wanna find out what is the port number. In this case, we got a port number of five, 0055. So what I can do here is go ahead and open up command prompt, CMD, and I can take a look at what traffic is trying to connect over into my computer. So you can take a look here at the following of that stat dash AN, fine established. And we have the port number of 50055, and with the IP address of 192.168.0.131. So this is the target IP address that we can go after. And now I head back over to Kali Linux, and we scan this IP address to see what ports are open so that we can target it. And there's a highly likelihood RDP could be enabled along with it, as with many scammers. And boom, you can see right here, we have completely scanned a computer and we see one port here, 3389, which typically represents remote desktop protocol, which means that we could try brute forcing the login for it. Now you can see right here with following instructions, we're using Hydra to brute force the RDP login. So once you're ready, hit enter on this, and we're now brute forcing the different types of usernames, passwords, and see which one to get a hit and boom, we got a hit right here. See the following, we have, 192.168.0.131 login is Loy Liang Yang and a password of 1234567 and all we got to do right now is use the same tool x free rdp use your name Loy Liang Yang password 1234567 and the ip address hit enter 
Let's see if we get a hit. Let's see if we get a remote connection right here. Done. We can now remotely control the PC we are in. You can see it right here. We have full connection over to the computer. We can navigate across the PC. We can even shut down the computer. It can do so many things from here. It's game over. So once again, I hope you have learned something useful, something valuable. And remember, hacking is illegal. If you want to hack, ask your mom for permission first. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications to the channel so that you get notified whenever you get hacked. Sorry, whenever there's a new hacking tutorial. Stay tuned.